Good morning, uh, Jason Mayer, Product Market Manager for SICK Australia. Just going to go through uh, a couple of applications here where we're using some of our unique technology. Um, as you can see that uh, we have a, a conveyor system with a couple of model cars on it moving back and forwards. And uh, we have the Mini Twin product here and the idea is that uh, when we break that product, okay, the machine stops and we have automatic uh, start up again. So uh, as soon as I leave the, uh, the light curtain, the machine will start up again. Okay, if I go around to the next part of the, uh, the machine, we have a camera based uh, V300. Again, very unique technology. The idea with the V300 is to create a wall. And that wall is an optical wall to protect human beings from the machine. We have a uh, reflective tape that we roll out across the bottom and side of the machine and the camera based system picks up that reflective tape here. Now again, it's set up in automatic reset. So if I put my hand into the machine, as the traversing uh, model car moves backwards, and we'll wait for that to happen, the machine stops. As soon as I leave the uh, camera base system, the machine will start up again. You'll also notice that there's two sensors here. This sensor here is our Lecter 620, which is a image-based code reader. Again, unique technology. And uh, also the CLV 630, which is a barcode scanning device. To drive the, to drive the, uh, the input devices, such as the V300 and the Mini Twin, we need an interface. And that interface that we're using on this particular display is our safety controller, the Flexi Classic. And the Flexi Classic is a modular system that allows our input devices to be wired back into the machine and it then enables us to integrate with the existing machine system. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the I-10 locking device. Now the idea of this particular switch is we have a gate, we have a door, and we don't want to be able to open that door. And the way we do that is we use a safety switch that has a locking mechanism. Uh, which means that the only time that we're allowed to actually enter the machine is when the actual machine or the robot in this particular display is in a safe state. And obviously to do that, we would need to depress the, the stop button. So we depress the stop button. After a period of time that we need to wait to enable the, the robot to come to a complete stop, once that happens, we're then able to open up the door. If I try to do that while the machine's running, the safety switch has a call inside which locks the, the machine and prevents me from opening the door. Close the door, hit the reset button to reset the machine, and then we're able to start the machine like so. The door's shut, the machine's safe, and we carry on operating the machine.